is how we configure the cancel now comes our uh, or gateway so this is our or gateway so we'll keep an or gateway okay multiple colors we'll write it multiple colors here so in our ui we can see that there are multiple colors and here we can see there are multiple four colors are actually present in our interface okay so when when any particular color is selected we want to we want to take a different path we want to uh, take a different route uh, at that time so how to how in that case how to do that so what we are going to use now is we will take a different script tasks so that we can get to know like it has taken the correct path or not first script i will make it red color so if red color is selected in the ui it will take the red path okay similarly if uh, second color is what blue okay and if blue color is selected it will take uh, this path okay okay let us connect this as well okay it's not connecting if it's not connecting then we can use this connector lines directly and then we can connect it okay fine and let's add one more script task here and let's remove this box and we'll use one more script task here as well so here we will make it green if green color is selected this script task should work and if black color is selected this script task should execute so let's quickly connect all those script tasks okay and we'll try to map all these values to the end node okay so we'll try to map all those scriptors to the end node now let's again select the cursor fine so here we have selected so that we can know we can get to know like which uh, uh, color are actually selected on the ui so now the main problem is how to write condition for or gate so if we go to the decision and you can you can see like here one or more paths can interact or and one or more paths can exit as well so how to write the condition so to write the condition what we will use is we will use contains function so if i write contains function uh contains okay so contains so contains functions what it does is it checks whether an array contains that value or not so in here in our process model what is our array so if you remember we have put pv only two process variables are available with us so only color selected is our array value so if color selected contains uh, red so instead of just writing a red or blue by itself like we can write a red as well but instead of writing this uh, we can use our constant as well so cons uh, color values and but this constant will reflect all the color values so now what we will do red is at number 1 position blue is 2 green is 3 black is 4 so what we want a red so if it contains a red color means if it contains 1 then take that path okay so we will click then if it is red then it will take the red path we will write the label as red next similarly new condition we will copy everything and let's try to write once again so a uh, contains function we will write once again and we will write what is our array color selected and if it contains cons bang ys so color values so second color value is what if you see the second is blue so if it contains the second value blue then what is it should take then it should take the blue path similarly let's write other condition so here it contains function we will use and what is our array pv bang color selected so we will again use our constant cons bang ys underscore color values so and what is our third value green so if green is selected then which value it should take it should take green node then again we will try to 
map again values again we will use contains function and we will use PV bang color selected and then we will use cons bang ys color values and the last color is what black so if fourth value is selected means it is black then it should go to black node and if none of the is selected then it should go to the end node so this is blue this is green and this is black okay so now let's try to validate it if anything is missing nothing is missing so let's try to save our changes let's save and publish it and now let's try to debug our process so now let's select our colors from here so to select a color let's select a red and green I am selecting this time and click on submit so if I click on submit you can see only two paths are getting triggered so let's check the process variable so if we go to process variable the color selector red and green boolean with no value has been given to it fine and what color it has selected it has executed the green script task and red script task since these are all dummy script task doesn't make any sense but we can put or in place of that we can specify our particular condition as well so let's try to trigger it once again and this time we'll try to trigger all the nodes so this time we will select all the colors at once okay so uh, we will select the red we'll select blue green black if we selected all the colors and clicked on submit then you can see here all the four nodes are executed so all the nodes are executed here okay now let's try to see AND gateway so AND gateway is nothing but it is just used to split so let's try to use the AND gateway as as well so let's try to make some space for the AND gateway okay yeah here we will specify an AND gateway let's drop it here so if we see the AND gateway decision they, we can't specify any condition so whenever we have to split path whenever we have to split path then only AND gateways are used so for example like uh, let's try to put one more script task this time and uh, let's try to have a script task here and we will keep it dummy script task we'll name it dummy and we'll try to connect our uh, let's try to switch back to this and we'll connect this dummy and this dummy to this end node we will try to connect it okay so now let's select it here let's put it somewhere where it is doesn't disturb our flow okay fine so if we now if we try to debug this process every time it will take both the path so automatically let's try to test this path as well so it it just works as a path splitter when we have to take two path without any condition then so let's try to uh, take a blue and black colors and let's try to submit it so if you see it has gone to blue and black that was our or, or gateway is working multiple colors but it has also taken this dummy path and then it has gone to this end node as well it has taken that path as well so this is how and gave and get works if you give multiple nodes as well it can take multiple paths at uh, uh, at that time okay so now more about the paths only one gate is remaining uh, for us that is complex gateway let's try to see that as well okay uh, where to place it okay let's try to place it somewhere closer okay now yeah okay so we will try to place the a, a complex gateway here let's try to delete all these lines from here and we will connect it to our complex gateway so okay we will not use these lines we will use these lines only 
will connect it to this one blue as well will get connected to this one green as well will get connected to this one black as well let's get connected to this one only we will leave the dummy one uh, as it is okay no issues with uh, dummy node yeah complex so how does now complex gate works so complex gate if you go to the decision it is saying like how many you know, how many income incoming path you want to execute so if we can specify like uh, two so if we have selected only two colors then only it will execute or we can select uh, some like only red will uh, if it contains the red only then only it should execute or it should contain green only that you can specify or if you don't matter like I don't need any colors at all just two colors any two colors comes then complex gateway will execute then we'll select this so either we can select this as well or only all four colors execute then only it can come or we can spell any two colors let's try to keep it any two colors now uh, how outgoing path so complex gateway works like if we select all execute uh, all outgoing paths at the same time it is if you see here it is the condition of and gateway as well <laughs> and gateway doesn't require any condition at all it will also execute all paths so it works as a or path execute only one outgoing path so it, if you see here it is just like an XOR get condition so you can multiple paths can come but only one will get executed and if you select this line execute one or more outgoing path so currently we are already seeing in our process like it is execu executing one or more paths so it works like an OR gateway so complex gateway is also like this only so it is a combination of different gateway you can use it so suppose like we want to execute all path at the same time we don't have any condition or we can uh, specify first let's try to use first condition only okay and in the require we will keep it two colors at least two colors will be there then only it will get executed okay let's try to publish our changes and let's try to debug the process once again so this time our let, let's see this time we'll select two colors then what will happen so first of all we have selected a red color and blue blue color and we'll click on submit if we clicked on submit so if you see here this and gate will 100% every time it will execute it's directly going to this and if you see here blue and red are executed and this complex gateway is as well finished but what if we select less than one color then or less than two colors then will our complex gateway will execute let's try to see that as well so uh, let's select only one color any random color we have selected this time let's try to submit our changes and if you see here and gateway has very well executed like it always does but we have selected only black color so it has gone to black script task but this node is still in active green color in APN process model means it is active it is not executed okay so we can start this node and make it end let's try to see again it is not in it because it is not a terminate process so let's try to terminate from here okay yeah now you can see here now blue is there so terminate process should be there in the process model okay fine so now let's uh, now we will add uh, one more condition to the XOR so if it is blue uh, if it is a red color it should take a different path so again we'll try to use one dummy script task here after that okay let's try to use it somewhere here okay and we'll try to connect our uh, complex gateway to this and this and if this line is not clear then I what I will use it I will let's try to use this condition and from here it will directly go to this script task fine now we'll select this and this fine so now we will give a condition as XOR gateway so for XOR gateway we have to go to the second so if condition specifies is so what I will do if uh, if is already written at the top so if contains 
so contains function pv bang where is our, our colors stored in color selected if it contains cons bang ys underscore color values one and what color is at one red color so if it is a red color is selected then it should go to the script task otherwise it should go to the end node okay now let's try to save our changes publish it and let's try to debug it once again first of all uh, we will not select a red color we will see some other conditions so now we will click black blue and this and let's try to refresh. so if you see here it has taken the AND gateway multiple colors are there and this color you can see here this color is there still it is active okay and it has reached this node as well but it has not executed this path okay but this time we will select other nodes uh, red color will also get uh, get included here okay so let's include the uh, red color gateway as well this time so let's try to select the color from here and this time we will select a red blue and green or black fine now let's try to submit and let's refresh the UI if you see here you still it has taken the and path and this as well and this color so if you see here this color is as well used script task because it was containing the red color so this is how the complex gateway works so that's all from now uh, uh, that's all for now thank you all for watching this video